Hello, dear folks. Welcome to the show. My name is Jack Chow. I'm uh, the proud host on the East West program under GNE TV. Uh, under this umbrella, we try to bring you all kinds of information that we could let our hands on, uh, including the last election. The last election, the past election, uh, November the 4th, uh, being the voting day, uh, well, is a the midterm election. Well, we do know midterm election tend to be a lower turnout, right? A smaller turnout, a smaller impact, or something like that. But as result shows shows out, people are kind of caught in a surprise that lots of outstanding numbers tell something seriously and strongly. So. In reviewing all those numbers, reviewing the facts, I have my good friend, Mr. Ken Hamming, joining me to the discussion about the past election, right? So welcome, Ken, to the show. Thank you for letting me be here with you and your viewers and to, to discuss the joy sure. of the opportunity mm -hmm. to vote. All right, okay. Uh, Mr. Ken Hamming, in addition to being a good friend to the show, to EDI, to Jenny TV, and me, myself, as well, he is a writer himself, and he has a huge concept. He's uh, got a very big, loving heart. Um, his book, Life is Simple, 100 Words to Live By, is the one that you can, you can get your copy on the internet, which later on will let you know where to. But right now, as an introduction to start with, right? So welcome to a thinker and a book writer and a good friend to welcome him to the show. My honor to be here. Yeah, same here. I feel same here. Uh, to, to start with, though, I would like, once again, see a overall picture, how you feel about this past election, please. Well, uh, I guess the thing that's disappointing is that uh, we had about 35% of uh, eligible voters that voted. Mm -hmm. And that's the lowest percent since the early 1940s mm. when many Americans were at war overseas. Mm -hmm. So it was naturally a low percent then because the nation was busy, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, and the yeah, men yeah. were okay, gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so here, it's sort of the lowest percentage uh, with at a time where I think issues are very, very important, mm -hmm. where we need to, I think voting is not only an honor, mm -hmm. which is truly an honor to have that freedom, mm -hmm. but it's an obligation. Yeah, yeah. We sure, need to sure, participate sure. in our government okay. system. We'll, yeah. yeah, we'll do. We'll talk about that part later. Yeah. Uh, well, we now want to see the statistics. Mm -hmm. the I've got numbers, them all. <laughs> right? So when we call it a low turnout, how low, please? About 36% mm -hmm. of all voters. Uh, in, what uh, else numbers you have? Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I'd like to share some of these, okay? Yeah, sure. Uh, in terms of the percentage of the voters that voted, mm -hmm. about 75% were Caucasian, white Americans, mm -hmm. uh, about 8% Latinos, about 12% uh, uh, blacks, African Americans, about 3% Asians, mm -hmm. and then a couple other, 2% of whoever, we don't know. I see, all right, um, okay. And, and then another interesting thing is in, in the, uh, about 38% of Caucasians voted Democrat, and mm -hmm. about 60% of Republicans uh, yeah. voted Republican. Yeah, let's stop, oh, oh, let's okay. stop right there. Yeah, because uh, that's let's all see the, Let's see the uh, uh, demographic part, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you say 75% out of the 35% who voted yes. being white Caucasians? Yes, sir. Right? And versus that, you're talking about only 3% Asians right. participate. Well, 3% of the total votes cast were from Asians. Oh, uh, yeah, of yeah. course. Of the 35%. Right. Of, yes, yeah. of the 35%, from which Caucasian takes 70, 75%. Yes, sir. Right? So that's really a surprising number. I don't think you can do anything with only 3%. The power is not the quite The power there. is not there. Not, not lies in 3%. Right. You might hold something strongly to your own 3%, but to let the country, to, to influence the politics, 3% right. is never enough. It's not enough power. It's not even, not even close. It's so much centralized so in California. Uh -huh of that 3% total. So much is centralized in California. Yeah. And, and also you have to take another fact. 
you're talking about 35% of the registered in, registered voters yes, voted, right? right? Only one so, out of three about. Okay, now, how many are registered voters as, well, ver as versus the population? Well, um, Do you have any numbers showing that how big is the percentage as versus the total population of California? Uh, n not that I could quote with comfort without uh, mm. insecurity, mm. Uh, but but basically, if if there were mm. uh, uh, thirty five percent of eligible voters, mm. I mean sixty six sixty five percent just did not participate mm -hmm. for one reason or the I other. See. Mostly, I think attitude uh -huh. just weren't moved to do it. Because one of the greatest things everybody wants to do, they work spend billions of dollars on getting the Last the vote show, out. I was uh, with a friend of mine, Mr. Joe Gardner. Yes. According to his statistics, within his own region. Yes. I, I'm in district. Yes. Which is the 48th district of California okay. Assembly House. Okay. All right. Uh, there are about 450,000 as a total population. Mm -hmm. Among them, only about 20% registered. Among the 20% registered, only five actually voted. Voted. That's almost a non-election. That's almost didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, very, very tragic. So actually. you're talking about one eighth. Yes, sir. One eighth of the whole thing. Yeah. Which is quite a waste. I remember last show with him. I made one point. I said, "This is the system. This is the system. This is the democracy." Lots of people are killing for. That's right. Are dying for. Right. They suffer a lot. Yes. They overcome lots of lots of obstacles, even endanger yes. their own lives, shed their own blood to come over here to embrace the, the opportunity of democracy. The opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. And once it is in your hand, though, you don't exercise it. You don't hold it no more. That is quite a waste. Um, it's yes. 100% correct. It's quite a waste. It's very quite sad. A waste. When you put in all the effort and everything to come and, and benefit from the freedom a democracy exactly, can offer, exactly. and then you don't support it by participating all in right. it, okay. uh, that's, um, well, it's a little bit, it, well, it's lazy, it's a little bit irresponsible, and it's, and it's sad. Unless you apply the philosophy, they say sometimes the fishing, the process of fishing is more enjoyable than eating the fish, right? So mm -hmm. my point is that if you are not a fish eater, though, mm -hmm. why bother? Why bother? Now that you bothered, you take the bother to come to, the sh to shore to start fishing, though, better be a fish eater. That's right. And tell right. how good it tastes. Right, exactly. Right? Yeah. Now, so I seriously call on my folks, whoever like me, whoever trusts this show, to go ahead to exercise your right of democracy, please to actually cast your vote as how you vote, who you vote, that's a different story. You have your selection, but you have to actually do it. And, and one thing may I add, mm -hmm. and that is study, be educated about what you're voting for, mm -hmm. not calmly and randomly, okay, this I could punch a hole exactly. here. Exactly. Think about it mm -hmm. and vote for what you believe in. Voting exactly is the only tool, only the uh, effective tools in the system of democracy. Because yes, anything, right. if you want to change, you have to do it in a voting way. Well, as we've talked about the rule of law versus the rule of man, mm -hmm. and that's, that's the voting process. Right. That's you mentioned about, this is about the lowest of ever since the- 60 years. 1940s. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. But that time, during those days, we had a good reason. We were heavily involved in the war. Yes, sir. Right? The whole country was fighting, right? Pearl Harbor was hit, right? right? And we, have a, we want a revenge. We want to hit back. The whole country was busy uh, <laughs> yeah. recovering. Yeah. So people might lose their mind to go to cast their vote. To, yeah. uh, uh, that could be an excuse. Yeah. It's right now, what are we busy doing? So that we are so busy, so we're made so busy that we don't even go to vote. Well, that's I think that's, problem. you know, we're busy at, um, mm. you know, all of the, our whole society is full of so many crises mm. going on at the okay, same time okay, uh -huh. that you cannot almost solve any of them. Because when it's so complicated, so many things that we can't mm. understand and are really mm. in crisis situation, mm. 
you can't go one at a time and really solve them. Or by the weekend. Yes. Does that indicate or may that indicate that people, the people, we, the people, have lost some kind of confidence in the government, in the system, in the democracy? I believe that the society as a whole right now uh, views Washington, D.C. and its and its participants in our government mm -hmm. uh, as rather dysfunctional and perhaps, you know, so, some of the very highest income zip codes are in the Washington, D.C. area. Mm -hmm. The people in our government that serve the people mm -hmm. or are supposed to serve the people should not be making the most money, mm -hmm. okay? Frankly, right. they okay. shouldn't be. Okay. And, and they're making uh, mm -hmm. incredible amounts of money and spend most of the time, and, and, and I'm not being critical, maybe it's human nature, I don't know, but th once they're elected, they're thinking about how to get reelected rather than sure, how sure, to serve sure. the people. Uh, there's a saying that uh, uh, election is the is the radar of your political system. It's a measurement of your. It's a measure of your political system. How healthy, how unhealthy. Right. So now we start to see something. Today with me is my good friend, Mr. Ken Hemming, a book writer, and uh, I call him a thinker, a kind of a think tank stuff. And honestly, he is a man with a big heart. Talking about this country, talking about this country's problem being reflected through the uh, past election. So let's yes. take a short moment out. We'll take another look when we come back, see how much does the partisanship, partisanship the division, how much does the division due to partisanship make uh, in the whole statistics. So we'll be right back.